friends, it's Carly, and today I wanted to share with you my little cheat for making scene cards. I love big scene cards, but I'm super intimidated by a full card front scene. <laughs> so for me, I found that shrinking the scene to a smaller circle, square, or rectangle really works and helps me create homes for my cute little critters. I like to start my smaller scenes with a simple shape stencil. You can absolutely DIY those with just like spare bits of plastic and acetate and some shape dies, or there's some really fabulous ready-made stencils on the market, and I'll definitely put links to my favorites in the video description. Now to use this circle stencil, I've tacked down my card with some low-tack purple tape, and then I've used some more tape, because I really like tape, <laughs> to secure my stencil over my card. For this scene, I want a little firelight glow, so I'm putting my critters on top, and just to kind of check the spacing, putting some pencil marks around where I want the fire glow to be, and then adding some Distress Oxide Wild Honey ink, making sure to erase the pencil lines before I ink over them and make them permanent. And I actually found that with the blending brushes, I never use these little brushes, but they totally came in handy for doing this really small space. Now after I've perfected my little firelight glow, I'm going to add some um, other colors to add some depth to the night sky that I'm going to create. So I've just got a little bit of seedless preserves and then a little bit of salty ocean and I'm just kind of applying them in no particular way. <laughs> I just want a little bit of color that's going to go underneath my darkest blue to create my sky. To finish my little night sky, I'm going to apply my darkest blue, which is the Distress Oxide Blueprint sketch. And I'm just gonna go over all of those colors and then blend carefully around my firelight glow. <laughs> and I think I have to go back in at some point, add a little more wild honey. It's, it's a practicing thing for me too. I've never done a firelight glow, so it's kind of fun. So I'm just blending until I'm happy with how it looks. To add texture to my ink blended background and add a little shimmer to that night sky, I'm gonna drop some of that shimmer spray on there while I've got my firelight glow covered up so it doesn't have any droplets in it. And then I just use the paper towel to mop up any excess and let it dry. Then I'm gonna remove that stencil and that tape and clean them off for later. I can clean off the tape too and save it since I love tape. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start working on the rest of my scene. So I want some grass, so I've used a circle to cut some cardstock to be approximately the same size as what I used for the stencil and the ink blended background. I'm just swiping it with Distress Oxide Twisted Citron so it will be green like grass. I'm gonna give it a quick dry with my heat gun and then I can die cut it with that little landscape die. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid adhesive to adhere the little grass to my ink blended background. And then before I start adding my critters, I'm going to add my sentiment. So I want the first part of my sentiment to be curved on the front of my card around my little ink blended scene. So I've got my card and my Misty. Then on the outside of my Misty, I'm going to temporarily tape down the stencil that I used to create that background which sounds kind of wacky, but trust me, <laughs> it's helpful as a guide. Then I can put my sentiment inside my Misty, close the lid, pick it up, but then open the lid and then use that stencil that's on the back side of the Misty lid to help me shape that sentiment into a curve that will stamp around my little ink blended background. Then I can put my critters back in there temporarily again, put a piece of scrap acetate on top, ink up my stamp and stamp it onto the acetate to make sure I've got that little sentiment stamp right where I want it. Then after I'm happy with it, I can wipe off the acetate, pull it out of my Misty, re-ink the stamp, and stamp it again onto my actual card front. And finally, once that's done, I can stamp the rest of my sentiment inside my card, and then add my little critters on the front. Now quickly, I won't show you the whole second card, but I just wanted to show you how I use um, purple tape to get kind of the same idea. So to make my card scene a smaller rectangle, I've got some of the thin purple tape, around the edges of my card. I'm gonna tack it down with the thick purple tape that I saved from my last project onto my craft mat again, and then I'm just going to do some ink blending. After that, I've got a great little scene where I can add more critters. Thank you so much for watching. You can find more information about these cards and these products in the video description, and I hope you're having a wonderful crafty day.